I've arrived and I'm ready to start my Jamaican journey. So let's go. and welcome back to my YouTube channel for a very exciting but nervous vlog today because tomorrow I'm going to be returning back to Jamaica for the first time since coming out as gay in sport. I think over the past couple of years I've been extremely vocal, extremely passionate about equal rights around the world and just trying to do what I can to help change those different perceptions and ultimately get the laws changed in many of those countries where it is illegal to be me. I think in Jamaica it's illegal to be me. In many different countries there are those homophobic laws in place so I'm really just trying to do what I can to you know to help change that and to be part of that movement. I have just been confirmed as the host for the Commonwealth Games here in Birmingham um, in a couple of months time so really really excited for that but at the same time quite nervous you know a lot of people that will be traveling will still have those different homophobic laws and attitudes in place so you know I think as an athlete I've always been very scared but I think as a host as well I do feel very uncomfortable so I'm returning back to Jamaica I'm going to be going out with Tom Daly and just having some really open conversations um, still not 100% sure if I'm going to be posting this video anywhere but if I do um hopefully by that point Tom Daly Illegal to Be Me documentary would have aired on BBC One so very nervous really do not know what to expect but just going to try and be as open as I possibly can I think I'm a very happy and bubbly person and very positive person but you know I think for this I really have to try and you know flesh it back and just be really open and honest and talk about things that I haven't really felt like I could talk about before so I've been a little bit calmer that I'm going to be taking you with me and hopefully this will be the first trip of many. <laughs> Now, I've just about got all my stuff out and my clothes. I'm taking way too much as always. Um, but the debate I'm currently having is about my case. Now, I've got a Great Britain case and I've got a Team Jamaica case. Um, kind of looking through all my different security measures. I've basically got to go in a little bit of a disguise. So I think I'm going to have to take my dad's case, which is very old fashioned, um, just so I'm a little bit unrecognisable when I arrive and when I'm in Jamaica. Um, you know, I think everything I, I wear is very the word very vibrant so I'm basically just gonna have to try and dress it down as much as I can and um yeah just giving me a lot of anxiety but um yes I'm ready Good morning everyone, it is a new day in Jamaica today. I've had a good sleep, I've had a good shower and a shave and I'm feeling a lot fresher today. I think yesterday traveling, you know, I was just very emotionally drained, you know, no one should have to pretend to be someone that they're not or, 
you know, dress straighter and all, like coming in basically in disguise. But, you know, I felt like because of the different things out here, you know, the possibility of someone recognising me for advocating and just kind of obviously coming into Kingston, I felt like there was kind of a, you know, a bit of a pressure of me just to make sure that I am safe. I know lots of people at home are worried about me. So I'm really glad that I'm here in one piece, really going to embrace kind of the next couple of days. There's a couple of people, I'm in Kingston at the minute. So there's a couple of people I'm going to try and connect out with. And um, yeah, just enjoy the next couple of days really and just try and connect back with my roots and being here because I haven't been here since 2015. So it's been a very, very long time. And you know, obviously I represent the country, so it's great to be back. But um, I think, yeah, a few anxieties, but I'm looking forward to it. It's absolutely stunning. I don't know if you can see the blue skies, not really, but it is beautiful. So I'm gonna have a really good day. <laughs> so it's really good. I don't know if you can see actually this cardboard. Um, the windows are all blacked out, but obviously the cardboard's there just so no one can really see in. So I feel really safe, to be honest. You know, I think it's just so nice that I can be out and, you know, that fear's gone. I think getting into the country obviously was a little bit of a worry, but now I can just enjoy it, take it all in and, you know, just have my wits about me really. My last night in Jamaica, I don't know if you can hear me, <laughs> but it's definitely been an experience. I think I was so scared coming here, but it's been such a massive relief to come back and to be able to be myself and hopefully next time I'll be able to live my truth a little bit more. I think we still have a long way to go, but yeah, so great to come here and have these experiences and until next time, please like, subscribe and I'll see you soon.